think we'll make a very deep run and probably be able to win the split. I'm joined by APA after an unfortunate defeat um, to 100 Thieves. Um, APA, that game seemed like a very hard game to play for you and Jan on Oriana and Callista. Uh, it seemed like they just had so much dive and you guys couldn't really do much. You know, Vi would go in, you guys would use the Taric ultimate, they would just wait it out, and then you'd have Alistar, you'd have Aatrox coming in, you'd have Talia trying to flip you guys in. It seemed like a very difficult um, comp to play out on your part, but you guys did eventually, like in the mid game, play it really well. Uh, I think there was a point where you got a three-man shockwave um, by the uh, mid lane bush um, towards the dragon, uh, you guys got dragon soul. It seemed like you guys had the game in the back, but then you guys weren't able to, you know, get to the finish line. So what, what do you think went wrong that game? Um, I think the grub fight definitely sucked. <laughs> like, I think we won what, zero for three, zero for four. It was like disaster grub fight for sure. Um, that got solo good. Obviously that sucks, but I think to be honest, the game just came down to but like honestly it wasn't like it wasn't really a macro game it wasn't really like a laning phase game it was just you know which team team bought better That's kind of where i think we think of it as okay so you didn't feel like the their draft was just uh, a bit easier to play than yours oh actually i feel like i liked our draft like they have to they have to come into us, you know, they have Vi Alistar, they, they're they playing with the Vi Alistar and like the Talia flick, but it wasn't too hard. Like, Yon want tanky, I want a tankier build, we have Taric to defend us. It's pretty hard for them to dive into us and like fully kill us, they have to like fake engage and then go go again. Which is pretty difficult somewhat because we have two tanks to slow them down, like we have Sejuani and Cassante. Um Yeah, I don't think it came down to like draft or honestly to us yeah it just came down to team fights all right um speaking more about uh team liquid as a whole it seems like you guys as a team are very good in early game macro probably the best in lcs if i had to say especially i mean the first game that comes to mind is the c9 game where you guys just like had them move across the map you had nar bait counter pick just like completely useless because he lost a bunch of waves and whatnot um but it feels like your mid to late game isn't as clean. Uh, first of all, do you agree with that assessment? And if you do, why do you think you're not able to translate um, good early game macro into mid to late game macro? I feel like it's actually the opposite, to be honest. I think um, it's like just a flip right now, depending on like in the, at least on stage games, if we win or lose lane like as, a, as a whole. And then like most times mid to late game, we do pretty correct sequences and we get pretty big advantage. So I think this game, um, the biggest like macro sequence error was when we won a fight and then I shifted down to bot lane to dig bot turret. But then Jan took a base and only impact was defending mid and that's when he got picked on mid. So we traded bot turret for bot for mid tier one and then top tier two, which isn't the, like, it was a pretty disappointing sequence because we just won a fight. But I think like, Things like those will always easily be fixed just by through better communication and talking more about what our tempo is. But um, yeah, I feel like it it actually is the opposite. To be honest. Okay, that's a that's a fair assessment. Um, speaking about the team environment, this year Team Liquid seems a lot more lighthearted than last year's Team Liquid. At least with the addition of Umti, he seems like a very um like light and happy go guy. Um. And it seems like Jan is also getting into his element, and obviously you're you're a famous memer. Um, so how how do you feel the team environment has been, and does this sort of having more of a lighthearted team environment make it easier for you guys to develop as players? Yeah, uh, I mean our team environment, I would say for the most part, it's pretty good. Sometimes in scrims, me and Jan do get frustrated. You know, either we're losing or we're just playing like shit or like whatever reason. So sometimes it's like. A little bit like we're frustrated which brings the team atmosphere down and then you know, yeah but normally we'll just have like a team talk later on and it'll generally sort itself out um i would say yeah we're pretty lighthearted though like most times we're all just like small sniping each other like i'm sure like 
in the game, I'm going to talk to Umpty about him flashing out when I Orion ulti on the there's like third or fourth dragon fight. And just like small snipes, but yeah. I think we're, like as the season, season goes on, we'll become more and more like closer. So I'm a, I'm a fan of this team environment. All right. And how, um, like what, what expectations do you have of, of yourself? You're, I don't think you're eligible for rookie, uh, to be a rookie because you went to Worlds and you played seven games, but this is your first full split, right? So, um, I guess what learnings, what expectations do you have of yourself this split? Um, to be honest, I don't really have like personal expectations. It's all like perception based. Like if I say I want to be the best mid laner, it's just like kind of perception of like who actually is or who not. Like to be honest, I kind of just want to win LCS just more as a whole rather than like say I want to be the best mid laner. Okay, and uh, did you feel like you learned a lot from going to Worlds? It seemed like um, a lot of times North American uh, players will go there and they won't really learn much because they just get completely stomped. Uh, personally, yourself, do you feel like you learned a lot from going to Worlds? Oh, for sure. I learned a lot. Like, I mean, just the whole experience. Like, I was in Korea for probably like two months and then Worlds happened. But I, I would say I learned a tremendous amount. Like, just talking with a team every day, playing probably the best solo queue you can get and then just playing against the best players possible in scrims like you just learn so many new things that are like it's normally just a lot of small things you'll learn that's like very easy to incorporate in, within your game awesome thank you so much uh anything you want to say to the fans um i think as the season goes on i think team liquid will become just better and better and better i think Honest, play if we were to play this game out ten times, we'd probably win majority of the times. So I think I think we're all pretty disappointed we lost this game because it was our game to lose. If that makes sense, so I think I think we feel that way with a lot of our games. So just as the season goes on, we'll keep improving, and then I think we'll make a very deep run and probably be able to win the split. All right. Well, those are uh, high expectations. I hope you guys can uh, actually. No, I'm I'm a bit of a team liquid hater, but hopefully you you uh, you succeed yourself personally. <laughs> Because I am a fan of you. Thank you. All right, man. Take care. Bye. You guys are the sponsors of this interview. And every interview that I do, you guys are awesome. You guys have been so supportive. Thank you so much for watching. This is my fourth week of doing interviews. Uh, but there's there's just this something that I, I can't wrap my head around. I really thought if I, you know, concentrated, if I focused and applied myself to really figuring this out, I'd, I'd find out why. But I, I just... I cannot wrap my hand around it. I cannot understand. I do not understand. Why haven't you subscribed? Like, just, just click that button. Just click it. Subscribe.